Priya, come on. Coffee, please, Brenda. I don't want to talk to you, OK? There, I said it. Plain and simple. Cos obviously subtext was lost on you. Make that too, please. Coming up. If by subtext you mean me spending the night on the sofa, I think I got that. Don't try and make a joke out of it, OK? Because I really don't find it funny that my fiancé lies to me about spending time alone with another woman, client or otherwise. Yeah. You're right. I'm sorry. But I really need you by my side right now. I've got a lot on my plate. Clearly. Too much to bother looking over Jay's contract like I asked. I did look at it. Glance at it, maybe. Anything more and you would have spotted that get-out clause. Well, Jay didn't spot it either. Yeah, but then Jay isn't a corporate lawyer, is it? Do you know what? Just forget it. He'll pay. Uh, hello. Are you ain't going to the hospital? Yeah, yeah, I am. Well, well, I was. Adam, are you OK? Yeah, yeah, I've just, um... Just got some stuff to, you know, work out at the yard first. You're still worried, aren't you? Johnny and Vanessa... And I know you didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Do you want to talk about it? No, I'm fine. And Johnny's going to be fine. But I've got to go. I'll speak to you later, all right? Nope. I like getting up extra early so I can do it all by myself. Seriously, Mum, you look like you're ready to drop. Why don't you just go back to bed? I can sort all this out. If I thought you were being serious... I am. That reconstruction... Oh, it's OK. From what I heard, Lawrence wasn't exactly convincing anyone yesterday. It does make you wonder... what if the real shooter's still out there? Well, I'm not being funny, but you're not exactly the best judge on these things, are you? No, I don't suppose I am. Look, go on, you, you go back to bed for a few hours. You'll feel better for it. Aaron, I get up early, I go to bed late, I spend half of my life tired. It's no biggie. So why don't I believe you? Because you are the cynical, mistrusting product of a broken home. Aaron! Yeah, we'll leave it in your capable hands. Pretty straightforward order. OK, we'll get to it as soon as we finish the bookers order, OK? Thanks, Laurel. Well, you've got a nerve. Drugs give you a misplaced sense of confidence, do they? What order's that, then? One that we can actually fulfil, unlike your precious supermarket deal. The details have come through. We can't make an order of this size in time, even if we work 24-7. This is business. Sometimes you have to promise the impossible and then deliver it. If you're wrong, we'll look like fools at best. At worst, it could ruin us. In a few months' time, all you'll need to worry about is how to spend all the cash that's rolling in. Not for much longer. Priya. Tell me you're not having second thoughts. Not after this on top of everything else. Hardly an easy thing to do, cutting your own son out for the business. But it has to be done. And once he's gone, who's going to run this place, then? Hey, <clears throat> one step at a time. I need to make sure I do this right. I can't afford to make any more mistakes. Dad!
I'm more than capable of taking the helm. Running this place is more than a full-time job. I can do it. Dad, I really want this. <sighs> Darling, you don't have to prove yourself to me. Well, clearly I do. Well, you don't think I can be a mother and run this place? Hey, that's not what I said. Fine. Then give me a chance to prove you wrong. Oh, hiya. Hiya. You on your way to the hospital? Uh, no, I've already been. Listen, I don't want to interfere, but is everything definitely OK? Has Adam said something? No, well, not exactly. It's just something's clearly troubling him, so, you know, I just wondered... Um, no, everything's fine. Well, at least I thought it was. Look, sorry, I've got to get to a call-out. Can we talk about this later, yeah? Um, now's not a good time. Oh. Oh, well, I'm here now, so... I just wondered if you'd spoken to the police. Yeah, the reconstruction went as we had hoped. They seriously doubt your dad's confession. But there are other factors at play here. But he's innocent. Not so much when it comes to the deliberate threats he made against Robert. They're not taking any chances. I'll be in touch when I know any more. Well, I thought we agreed to forget about what happened. We had, until you dropped me in it with Priya. I mean, you told her I was with you the other day. And she didn't know. Well, why wouldn't you have just told her the truth? I mean, like you said, I'm just one of your clients. An attractive, unattached client who sees a lot more of me lately than she does. And you didn't want her worrying about me throwing myself at you. I take it you didn't tell her about what happened. Well, of course not. I've got enough on my plate with Kieran on a drugs possession charge. Since when? Since... No, you don't need to worry about it. OK. Well, I'm sure it will blow over with Priya for sure. I mean, just... Don't like to feel neglected is all. It's best maybe you call the office if you want to get in touch with me in the future. Leave a message. Right. And if it's urgent? Oh, leave another message. Call you. Asleep on the job. Hardly. I've been up and down that cellar since the crack of dawn, so... I didn't mean anything by it. I know, sorry. At least now I know who left the cellar door open. I shut it. I always shut it. Have you heard anything more from the police? I called, but they don't tell me anything. Oh, yeah, cos the police obviously tell me everything they're thinking. Just that it didn't look exactly like they've got the right man. Well, of course they have. For a man who claims to be guilty, Lawrence is doing a pretty good job of looking like someone who's made the whole thing up. And why would he do that? Covering for someone else, I reckon. There's not much a parent wouldn't do to protect their child. Maybe. All I know is that someone in that family shot Robert. And that's all there is to it. Serious? Gossman them up. Am I the only one that's working around here? I don't pay you a lot to sit around gossiping. Actually, I think you'll find, thanks to our hard work, that we are fully booked next week. Book. Really? So, if anyone comes by looking for a room, you don't mind sleeping in the cellar, is that right? <laughs> well, I can't turn people away if they're paying to stay here. Remember, my hem party booked in tonight. Food's already prepared. There's tapas. Ah, uh, so all you've got to do is uh, warm up a few things. I'm sure you can manage that. Yep, of course. Right, I'm uh, off to the cash and carry. While it's quiet, then I'm home, put my feet up. No, you, ca you can't. I can do whatever I want. I'm the boss. <sighs> the hem party has only booked because of Mr Flaming Humble Hotel. I need him here, not at the cash and carry trying to haggle down the price of a dozen dented tins of beans. Whatever you're thinking, the answer's no. How do you know what we're thinking? I'm not pretending to be Eric. Good. I'd be crazy. Mm, totally. <laughs> but... I don't know. What, why does there have to be a but? Well, there's really no other way, is the thing. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Mm. Laurel! Here again. Uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for this. Off your pop, then. Print. 
I'll come and find you later. Why do you have to be so rude? I'm her boss, not her friend. You've made a mess of everything here. What makes you think that we can carry on as if nothing's happened? Because I'm turning things around. I've landed us a huge order. Clean me up to. No more drugs. But whatever it takes. Does that include telling the police that it was your cocaine that they found in your car, or are you going to stand by and watch young Kirin's life be ruined? So, you want to see me go to prison? No. I want you to take responsibility of your actions. Like I said, no more coke, all right? Fresh start. Please, give me a break. You've said all that before and came to nothing. Why should I believe you now? Because I don't let things beat me. Maybe it's time you stepped aside. You know, whether you like it or not, Dad, this is my factory now. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Well, it's good to know where you stand. Shame there's nothing you can do about it. Thought you'd have got us a pint in. It's not why I should come over sit down. Oh, go on then, why are you being weird? Fancy watching something? No, not really, Adam. I ain't got time for all this. That little video I made for Johnny. It's pretty much finished. Sorry, mate. You should have said. <laughs> Keep watching. It's your bed a minute. Yeah. Now, do you need to watch it again? Because I know I did. I don't know. I don't know what you think you've seen. You? Hiding a gun. No, mate, you're wrong. Yeah, I hoped I was, so I checked. Oh, what have you done with it? Please tell me you haven't touched no, it. No, no, I'm not stupid. The question is, are you? <laughs> this is my wife's brother we're talking about, Aaron. Now, if you did this, you need to tell me the truth. Did you shoot him? Thanks for coming over. I, um, I wanted to say sorry about before. I didn't mean to stress you out. You noticed. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about Adam going for custody if that's what you're thinking. He's on your side, we both are. Actually, he's been really busy putting together a little video for Johnny. It's dead sweet. Do you want to see it? I mean, if you've got time. Yeah, yeah, no, of course, that'll be nice. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> he really loves that little boy, doesn't he? Oh, he's besotted. It's already changed him loads, being a dad. Yeah, that happens. Brings out the best in him. As do you. Now, a lot of women would struggle in your place. And I know I've not exactly helped. Listen, I can't even begin to imagine what you're going through. But he's going to make it, and it's going to be OK. <laughs> Listen, it goes on a little longer, but you get the idea. You'll make a great mum one day. Just wish I could say the same about myself. Hey, come on. Nah. I'm not a natural like you, Victoria. I wish I was, but, well, it's just not happened. <laughs> but you say I'm a natural, but I'm not a mum. You know, I bet it's just like this big bomb that goes off inside your body and I guess it takes a while for the dust to settle. So go easy on yourself, yeah? I'll try, thanks. You're not alone. Remember that. OK, I'm going to upload this. Adam never posts anything online. Look, I know you've got your doubts, and that's all right, because... I I would, too, if I was in your shoes. It's just a lot to take in, you know, I want to believe you. Yeah, I know, I know. But, but Adam, look at me. You know me better than anyone, mate. I didn't shoot him. So what? You just saw a gun and just picked it up? I told you I wasn't exactly thinking straight. And as if I could have pulled the trigger anyway when my mum stood right there. So you won't worry what happens when Robert wakes up, then? If he wakes up. I'm just saying.
I was going to wait until you got home. What made you think I was coming back? Priya, I'm sorry. I haven't been putting you first, but I've made it clear to Chrissy that I'm not at her beck and call. Even though you have been? Not anymore. There's only one woman who tells me what to do in my life. Uh, not there. Oh. Hard at work, I see. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Ah, Adam's turning out to be a great dad to this kid. He's got a good heart. So do you. One of the many, many things I love about you. Name me some of the others. OK, let me think. You need to think? <laughs> well, if you prefer I didn't use my brain, I could show you. Uh, I'm supposed to be working. Yeah, me too, but this is way, way more important. You've done some pretty stupid stuff in your time. I don't think anyone's going to argue with that. Karen, whatever's happened, I'm your best mate. Now talk to me. If you're in trouble, I want to help you. I thought I was doing the right thing. Why? What were you doing there in the first place? I wasn't. I was at the garage looking for Andy, but... But then I, I heard the shot, so... Uh... I ran to the back of the pub and then, and, and that's when I saw the gun on the ground and my mum was just stood there. So what are you saying? But I thought she'd shot him, didn't I? I mean, she was in a right state when I got there, so she, I took the gun to protect her, but I was wrong. So what, someone else dropped the gun and ran? Is that what you're telling me? It makes sense, doesn't it? Then give it to the policeman. Let them deal with it. Help them get to the truth. It's too late for that now, Adam. Even my own mum doubts me. I had to get rid of it somehow. I didn't shoot him. You've got to believe that. Well, it still doesn't change the fact that there is a gun currently hidden in our scrapyard, though, does it? I know it doesn't. OK, OK, so, uh, what now? We could finish our pints and then... Maybe you help me make it disappear. Respectable establishment. We have other guests. Sorry, Harry. <laughs> Sorry? So Sorry's all I seem to get round here. But it's not good enough. Don't hold back, Mr. Pollard. Seriously. I won't. I'm pretty flipping cross, I can tell you that. <laughs> no disrespect, but I thought you'd be a little bit older and meaner. No disrespect, but I thought you'd be younger and less common. <gasps> <laughs> Tell me, girls, was Belly Dawn fully booked? Oh, hmm? Yeah. Hmm? Or did you all hit 40 and realise you had tattoos older than guys you're trying to cop off with? <laughs> Lady Hiz, your host, Mr Eric Pollard. Woo! Come and have a drink with me, Eric. Come on, let your hair down. And I prefer not to fraternise with guests if it's all the same, thank you. Especially a bunch of half-demented alley cats and cheap perfume. So enjoy your stay or not, we don't care. There's our oh, imbeciles everywhere I turn. Finn. Eric. Eric. I'm Eric Pollard. And everyone thinks I'm mean and nasty. Why? Hmm? Because I am. Peace offering. I've turned down the corners of the pages with the best bits. Thank you. Could do with some celeb trashing right now. I don't want to fall out. I'm sorry I snapped earlier. I don't know what's the matter with me. You snap all you want, love. You just need to tell me about it. I'm OK. Well, I beg to differ. And it's hardly surprising, really, after everything... I had a nightmare last night, that's all. It's just left me a bit on edge. Well, go on, then. Get yourself to bed. Take all the time you need. Well, that... There's no point. I'd never sleep at this time. Well, you won't if you don't try. Go on, I'll bring you a cup of tea up. No arguments. Up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire. Thanks, Diane. A bit of light reading always helps me drop off. Page 56. Hollywood hunks for hire. You'll feel better for it, I guarantee. Uh, 
Well, I certainly wasn't expecting that. Oh, anyone could have caught us. Yeah, but they didn't. Mm, not yet. Yeah, we should make this a regular thing. Do you know, I was giving Dad both barrels earlier about giving me a shot at running this place. Hardly strengthens my case, does it? Oh, I don't know. Seems to me like you're already acting like the boss. Mm. Oh, impressive. What are you doing? Seriously, there's some private stuff on there. Lawrence really was protecting the wrong person. Aaron, what's he doing? Hiding a possible murder weapon. It was him. Aaron shot Robert. <sighs> yeah, that's the place. You know where it is. All right, love, take it easy. Bye bye. <sighs> Sorted. She's gonna come later. Take him to be scrapped. Thanks, Adam. I mean it. Yeah, well, let's just try and act like it's a normal day, eh? I owe you one, mate, seriously. No, you don't. It's what we do. What about that video, though, if someone sees it? Guess I'll just have to make another one. <clears throat> don't sweat it. No one's ever going to see it now, all right? Emmerdale continues in half an hour.